Thank you very much, Ralph. So I will just give a quick overview of Rio Plus 20, which we organize as a department, and uh, the process is ongoing after Rio. I see some permanent missions representatives here, but maybe for the other um, participants, it might be interesting to get an insight what is going on in the UN right now in the area of sustainable development. At Rio Plus 20, we had in the end two paragraphs agreed by all member states on transportation issues. The first one, uh, 132, was we are emphasizing the importance of transport for sustainable development, um, highlighting the importance of giving access to environmentally sound, safe, and affordable transportation uh, worldwide. The second paragraph, we emphasize what Ralph just mentioned, the importance of efficient multimodal transport systems, um, emphasizing regional cooperation, which is important for this uh, event today, um, or, for example, the establishment of sustainable transport, transport, uh, transit transport systems. Um, this shows that the debate didn't stop after CC19. Unfortunately, what Ralph just explained, there was an agreement on the transport part, but it's um, about having a consensus on all elements discussed. So this is not an official outcome we had in CSD19, but in Plus 20, the outcome has been signed by all member states. So this was an important step for transportation. Um, more importantly, we had some voluntary commitments. It was the first attempt at Rio Plus 20 to have um, all kinds of partners submitting to our department some voluntary commitments. There's a registry online, which you can find on the website down here. I hope you can see it. Um, and what happened was, to date, we have now 1,370 voluntary commitments registered at valued at over 630 billion US dollars. <coughs> what is more important for our event today, we had a very big commitment made by